Pod Lunch here on Kids Place Live. It's me, Jack, coming from the KPL Cafetorium, where we are serving up healthy and delicious treats from all of your live shows. But that's not all. We're serving up something we like to call Mystery Meat. That's right, it's Mystery Meat, an unexpected source of protein here in the Cafetorium. Who will this unexpected source of protein be? I'm going to tell you right now. Audience, put your paws together for Mr. Mike Furman. Yeah, how's it going, guys? Whoa, that was, a, that was a, an amazing entrance. I, I didn't know we had a rope swing in this cafeteria. <laughs> Golly. Wait, well, will you do it again? Can you, can you do a trick on the rope swing this time? I really want to see oh, yeah, it. Sure. Okay, here we go. There we go. Okay. Uh, you know him from his uh, his internship at the Ringling Brothers, Barnum and Bailey Circus, and uh, his time on Survivor Season 4. Uh, give it up for the rope swinging prodigy known as Mike Furman! Okay. Um, yeah. Holding on. Thank you. We you can do Thank this. You. Thanks. We can do this. Thanks as for long grabbing as onto his legs, everyone. Yeah. Well, we just had uh, the third and fourth graders grab onto your legs to get you to stop from swinging. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> you were heading straight for the Jello salad. That was not going to end well. <laughs> Well, uh, Mike, I mean, I couldn't help but notice as you were uh, blurring through our field of view on that rope swing, uh, a, it, it looked like a lightning strike because you're wearing your lab coat again. I am wearing my lab coat again. It's because I'm, uh, you know why? Uh, yes, but <laughs> tell everyone else. Why is that, Mike? Because it's comfortable. Yeah. Oh, no, I didn't know that. Actually. <laughs> no kidding. And it also happens to be the thing I wear when I'm inventing. Is that a is that a cotton poly blend? It is a cotton poly blend. Thank you for is noticing. Is it breathable? Like uh, when you're extremely breathable. Oh. That was the first thing I invented. Oh, no kidding. Okay. You invented yeah. your. That's why it's that's why it's inspiring to me. Are you allowed to invent something without a lab coat on? I mean, that seems like some under the table kind of wishy wishy washy stuff there. I think that's one of those things that uh, is technically not illegal, but you you really shouldn't do it. <laughs> I think you won't go to jail for it, but no one, you're going to lose a lot of friends. It's like, how did you get your car to the DMV to take your driver's test? That kind of thing. Oh, yeah, right. (laughs) Similar similar premise. Yeah. That's right. Well, uh, Mike, I know that when I see you wearing that lab coat, uh, it means that you've come up with some wacky uh, brand new inventions in your R&D department, research and development. Or it's laundry day. (laughs) Oh, (laughs) which which is it, Mike? Which is it? (laughs) Today it's the R&D department. Oh, I was right. Okay, good. Yeah. What, what day is laundry day for you? Uh, oh, that's probably um, it's the third Thursday of every other month. Wow. Either you have a lot yeah. of clothes or you have a high tolerance for stains. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Yeah. You know what I, you know what I do is uh, a lot of times I will uh, I'll just, when I'm done with something, I'll wash it and then I'll dry it and then I don't have to do the laundry for quite a long time. Yeah, I think that's how it is with everyone, actually. <laughs> Wait, what? Yeah, yeah, you just wash it and dry it, and then you're... You, oh, I've been doing the laundry the whole time? Yeah, yeah, you actually have been doing the laundry the whole time. Oh. What, did you, what did you think laundry was? I thought laundry was where you put it outside, and you put candles all around it, and you sing to it, and then you uh, you appreciate it for having made around the the moon one more time. Yeah, I think you're talking about carving and lighting uh, jack-o'-lanterns around Halloween time. <laughs> if I'm not mistaken. Oh! I was always wondering why the... Okay. Yep, that that explains sense. all those that candy stains on your clothes. Okay. That explains. Very good. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> well, luckily you were eating white chocolate in this lab code. Mike Furman, tell us, do you have a new invention to share with us from your research and development shed? I do. Great. I have an invention. Are you ready for this? Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to ask you, what would you rather, do you want to hear about uh, the inverted pinata or the selfie sunglasses? Oh, boy. Uh, okay, so an inverted pinata, I'm just using context clues here. I know what a pinata is. Inverted means upside down. Okay, that's interesting. Or inside out. Oh, oh okay. But in this case, it is upside down. <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted to educate everybody that might be like, wait a minute, Jack, that's not all inverted means. I, I love your fact checks, because your fact checks are like, fact? 
Check? <laughs> That's a fact. <laughs> yeah, that checks out. <laughs> that was a fact. Okay, um, and uh, selfie sunglasses. I mean, we're taking a lot of selfies these days here at the Monkey. I want to hear about selfie sunglasses, Mike. All right, you know what? You chose wisely because these ones are pretty quick. Okay. And you might actually get to get to do both. Oh! And maybe even one more. Uh, selfie sunglasses. Here's what I was thinking. What if, uh, what would you do if I gave you a pair of glasses that have on the outside a little picture or no on the on the actual lens yeah because you know how there are the ones that have like it's a uh, an american flag or it's like uh lips or something like that like there's a cute little Spooky picture on eyes. it but you can right. see sure. through them right 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 yeah there were weird eyes uh what if it already had a picture of an outstretched hand with a phone in it oh. so you don't now when you take a selfie you don't have to actually hold the phone it already looks like you're the one taking the picture <laughs> Okay, that's right. So if you're wearing reflective sunglasses and you take a uh -huh. selfie, each one of those two lenses will show your outstretched arm. Yeah, you would see the... your hand and you'd be like, oh, that person took his own picture. I see. Okay, so if that's there, then you don't even need the camera or to hold it when you're taking the selfie, is what you're saying. No, now somebody else could take the picture <laughs> oh, of you okay. and it still looks like a selfie. I, oh, yeah, great. Um, uh, and if it's really from really far away... Uh, it would look like your arm is really long. Oh, that's super fun. I like that. Yeah. Okay, so yeah. so take a picture, uh, have a friend stand a quarter mile away from you with a telephone <laughs> and, and take the picture. Yeah. You know what I'm going to do? No, I'm going to go outside and look up for a couple months, and then when the uh, Google Earth a uh, satellite comes by and takes a picture of my house. <laughs> Just look up I'm going to find myself, and I'll be able to, it'll look like I'm taking a selfie from <laughs> space. People look at that picture and be like, hey, is that Mike Furman, or is that Elastigirl? Am I right? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Mike, I think I approve of this invention. I want to buy it, and I'm going to fund it. Here's your rubber stamp, Mike. There it is. Yeah, thanks. Oh, thank right you on. very much. And I think you're right. We do have time for the inverted pinata. Hit us. Or, or, right, or, or hit hey, it. Nice. What are you going to yeah. hit? I'm not sure. You know, uh, there are pinatas. Yeah, oh, sure. Pinatas. Uh, fun uh, for multiple occasions, including birthdays. Yeah. You hang it from the, uh, you throw it. A rope over a, a branch or a, a pole or something like that, yeah. and then it hangs down. You tie the pinata to it, and then kids walk up and whack it with a uh, bat until it explodes full of candy. They whack it, yes. Uh huh. That's the one. So, here's what I was thinking though. It's kind of like, you know, we've all stood on the ground and swung a bat, right? Wouldn't it be fun? What would you do if I were to take like a baseball tee, right? Like a tee ball tee? Yeah, sure, sure, sure. And put that uh, on the ground. And I put a pinata on that, right? Like attach it yeah. to that, uh -huh. right? And then uh, throw rope over, you know, over a branch on top of it. And we attach a harness to a kid, and then <laughs> lower the kid down <laughs> from that. They swing away while I'm like pulling them up. Oh, 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 oh. let them back down. Swing, swing, swing. Pull them back up, and eventually. They uh, whack that pinata and uh, candy goes flying. Well, you, uh, you know, it just so happens that on today's edition of Hot Lunch, we actually invited in the entire Sirius XM legal department. They're sitting over oh. there in table 10. Uh, hey, legal department, what do we think about this idea? Do you, do you think that we've installed enough protective safety gear for these kids? Mike, Mike, it sounded great. That sounds hey. great, Mike. A thunderous awesome. round of spork applause as banged on their lunch trays. Uh, Mike, I think we've got another rubber stamp. Congratulations! Hey. Thank you!